I have to clean the garage first before I start working on the car, so let's just do that real quick. Get a little bit more room, even though my garage is tiny. But I definitely need to clean up a little bit before I start tearing in to the WRX. This thing literally became a table because it died, so that was all it was good for. I don't even know where to put shit. <sighs> I'm gonna put the camera down so I can actually try to figure out where I can put shit. It's not as terrible now. I think I'll probably redo, do a little bit more uh, cleaning once spring rolls around. Vacuumed up all the leaves that were piled up there and shit. But yeah, so I'm going to get the car jacked up. And, um, and then yeah, start draining the cooling system. Uh, I'll probably do the oil when we, I get the engine out just because uh, I'm just afraid of what it's going to look like. But um, yeah, so let's get the car jacked up and then uh, start tearing this beast apart. <laughs> jacked up I'm gonna slide this under so then I can start draining the coolant out of the engine and try to get most of it so let's keep on moving Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, she peeing. I disconnected it from the, uh, the water pump. So I'm just going to let that drain for a bit and then uh, I'll hop back to it. So while that's slowly draining, I think I'm going to just start disconnecting the hoses and stuff up top and then uh, get the radiator out once it's fully done. Drain in, get the expansion tank off, get these lines out of the way. And, uh, you know, it's not a race to get this done, so just gonna take my time on uh, getting things off the uh, engine.
So this little guy has been like my new favorite tool. It's a little pocket pry bar from Snap-on. And I got it for work. And it just makes doing these clips so much easier. I'm saying that and I'm still struggling. <laughs> there we go. That's one. Jeez, that took way too long just for that. I forgot another one. used to the forester set up. Okay, okay. That's one. This trans cooler is an like OEM one. Because remember, I did say this is an automatic. Uh, the lines for the trans cooler that run through the radiator are cut, and then they're running two other rubber lines um, right to this cooler right here. So I didn't realize it had a Either there's like a cheap aftermarket trans cooler or uh, it's an OEM one, but if you know, I guess just let me know. But uh, I guess that's one less thing to take off. So cool. All right, just gonna keep moving along. Okay, so I got the radiator out. So now I'm probably gonna start taking up the intake and then the expansion tank and. We'll get the battery out of there. I might get the washer tank out of there too. Just so there's just more room to work with and uh and just keep grinding away. Ugly. I don't I don't like the red. Previous one of the previous owners painted this a very shitty red, but I think I'm gonna get it powder coated. Some color. Not hundred percent sure yet, but like I just wanna make this look like an OEM plus and just look really clean and all that so but yeah we're just gonna keep tearing shit apart okay so I got the stock air box out I took the Mishimoto uh, expansion tank off um, I think I'm gonna work on getting the intercooler off and then we'll kind of go from there um, and this is all new to me, so, like, I'm trying my best, like, well, at least for the, the turbo models and stuff, like, my Forester, I can get that in and out, no problem, but uh, I'm kind of just taking my time, you know, it's not a race to get it out, but, uh, I just want to make sure nothing breaks and so I don't have to buy more stuff, but, um, yep, just going to keep slowly working at it. Uh, and then we'll just go from there. One thing I am absolutely hating right now is that the, wow, big heavy breathing. <sighs> the fucking, uh, like Y pipe for the intercooler 
will not come off the turbo right now and that's the I've been fighting for like the last 20 minutes so I don't know I gotta figure something out but yeah it is pissing me off so oh I might have to call some reinforcement for some tips or some shit because I mean, I'm taking a pry bar to it, and I'm like yanking. I have everything disconnected, so why won't it come off? So just gonna keep going at it. I'll let you know when I get it. Got it. I just had to yank it a different way, so. But it's finally off, so. No, there's all types of room for activities. So just gonna keep going. I'll probably work on getting the turbo inlet off. Day two. I ended up only working on the car for a little bit yesterday. Had to take some take care of other things around the house. So today should hopefully be able to pull the engine out. Uh, I got my buddy Chuck coming over today. He's gonna give me a hand. So right now, I'm gonna disconnect the down pipe, get the starter out. Uh, I'm gonna get the bypass valve out of here. And then uh, disconnect the main wiring harness over there. Um, go underneath, undo the uh, engine mounts, and then uh, start taking out the uh, transmission bolts. So then you can eventually hook up the, the hoist and uh, <clears throat> get the uh, engine pulled out of there. I totally forgot that I have to work with fuel lines and I left my fuel line disconnect tools at work so now I got to go to O'Reilly's and uh, you know, I'm just going to pick up a cheap set probably the same ones I have at work and just so I can keep them at home so I'll be back got the fuel line tools so let's get the fuel lines off the intake manifold unbolt it and then I should be able to get that off be able to unbolt the AC compressor, uh, get the power steering pump on bolted, and then uh, just another step closer to getting the engine out.
Jeez. Back to the wash fluid. Okay, well. All right. Fuel lines disconnected. So now I think all I gotta do is just unbolt the uh, intake manifold, and I should be able to take that off. Actually, I just remembered. I think I gotta take the wires off the uh, the coils, which. Cylinder 4 is going to be so much fun, but then after that, I think I'll be able to pull everything off. Well, you can see the top of the block now. Uh, looks like my power steering pump has a little bit of a leak. It's all wet in there. Um, I think I heard that was like a common problem. But um, before we go any further, we're just gonna shove some uh, paper towels or rags or something into the uh, intake ports. And then, uh, yep, get the AC compressor off, power steering pump uh, unbolted. I took out the down pipe already, so I'm just gonna leave the headers and the up pipe on. Uh, I'm gonna get the starter out, disconnect the heater core hoses over there, and then uh, transmission bolts, and then engine motor mounts, and then uh, should be able to hook this up and get it out. So I was just looking at the transmission bolts. Um, definitely need to take the turbo off because there's one right right here I'll, I'll be able to pull it out I believe but yeah so I think I'm just gonna have to take the turbo off and then uh and then I'll just uh continue moving forward gush? oh yeah let's get a uh, fucking gush uh, 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 uh. so what are we doing Chuck um probably fucking everything up like we always do <laughs>
engine's out finally. And this guy just wants to start tearing apart right Fuck away. Fuck yeah, brother. <laughs> I want to see the carnage. We're really going to like try to split the block tonight? It doesn't take long. It doesn't? No. I don't know. It's my fucking first time with the turbo motor. I'll be gentle, baby. I'll be gentle. <laughs> I'm going to try hugging this again. I'll hug you. Like break a rib. Good God. There's no fucking way. You ready? I think so. As ready as I'll ever be. Nope, it's something's happening. Nope. Oh, Holy fuck. Oh my god. Let me try that. Put him down. Use my girth. <laughs> got that shaft in your hand, buddy? Oh yeah, I fucking got it. Oh, my hand's getting crushed. <laughs> it's getting stuck underneath the cap. Huh. Try again. I'm gonna stiff arm it. Oh, it's so stiff. Oh, something's happening. Fuck! Oh my god. You ready? You ready for it? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Unfucking necessary. <laughs> Milwaukee on that bitch now. Good God. Good thing we're super strong. <laughs> Surprise all the bolts are in here. <laughs> Usually one that's fucked. So is it supposed to look like that? No, these are. I've never seen these. Are they? Unless that's a EJ20 thing. I never really. I've messed with one. Oh, is this your first 2 0? It's my first 2 0, bud. It might be just because of the 2 0. I'm not 100% sure though. I don't know either. But the 255s do not look like that. This one's the same. Yeah, it's, it's just. just it's just. One. Oh. It's not ABCS, is it? No. That's why. Oh, I'm going to take this one too. Doctor. Actually, I'm more of a nurse. Ooh, hello, nurse. <laughs> I need an extension to get down in there. Maybe not. Well, I'm going to take off the oil pan to see the carnage. The oil was a little shiny towards the end there. So, we'll see how bad it really is. Pull the dipstick out of the shits. Should just be 110 down there. It ain't gonna reach. She said. <laughs> Round two.
up there. Oh man. Thank you. Alright, now we gotta get this dipstick out somehow. Uh, it should just be a 10 mil holding it on like the head. Yeah, like right here. in there. Let's guess what? Okay. Let's double team it. Hey. Oh god, yes. Oh god, there's oil everywhere. Oh. Uh. I'm just gonna leave it right there. Just kind of sure. hang out. Yeah, because I don't think you can get out without the <coughs> guy take it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have my smallest pry bar. That's at work. I mean, that's technically my smallest <laughs> pry bar, but my other one. Just broke the seal on the uh, pan. All right, bud. Let's let's see the carnage. It's my first time seeing inside of. Let's take your panties off. Oh. 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 Oh, some. That's fun. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's RTV. Okay. Well. Well, so far. <laughs> what do we got in here? Um. Well, nothing standing in. Stick it out. Well, where, where's the, where's the, here's the light. There's a laser. What do we got, what do we got? Uh, some shininess down in there. Oh yeah, we got some, look at it. Uh, 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 oh yeah, she's glittery. Yep. Throw it in the bin. Fucking hell. <sighs> Yum. Well, we could. Yeah, that's interesting. It looks like RTV. Huh. <laughs> okay, so at least we kind of know it's the crank bearings and... Would, would you say the heads would be fine? Question mark? They're gonna have to be. Well, I mean like if, you know, if I got them all cleaned up and shit. It's hard to say, you gotta open them up and see the damage. Well, yeah, but I mean like after, well, yeah. Just... I guess we can't really. No. So, without opening up the heads right now, it's looking like short block. <laughs> Until we get the heads opened up, right. we'll figure it out if it's a long block. I say we take off this and see if anything wiggles. Yeah, because what? It can, was it side to side is okay, up and down it's Correct. not? Yeah. All right. Good old fucking 10 mil again, bud. Hell yeah, bud. Oh, I really need, like, stuff to bolt to I am nervous. I mean, it's 
it's fucked. So. <laughs> <laughs> Some uh, zip lines. Zip lines? Yeah. Well, that's what we should be doing. Well, we, yeah, we should. Because we are professionals. Well, we should, but we're just diving right in. Fuck it. Because you are ready to fucking dive in, bud. Dive on in. The other one's gonna get lost here in a minute. Here, hold that. Mm. Mm. Ah. Oh, it's, oh god, it's so slippery. <laughs> Wait. Nice. Nice. What is that? Okay. You want to set the table over there too? Hold on, buddy. We have some of the hands. Just throw them in the pan. Mm, he's pretty. Throw them in the fucking right behind the pistol. Oh my god. Uh! My hands are dirty as fuck. Why'd you wear a man? Well, most of the time I'm just wearing clothes. Spin it around to get to these guys. Well, those two did. No, they didn't move at all. That's something. Oh, got some side to side. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something. So well, we need to rotate the. Yeah. I'll do the cranking for you. I, I gotta make sure I'm rotating the right way. I gotta lift up. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> the compression. Oh. So. I'm sure I bet it is probably that one. <laughs> or the, I mean, uh, like those ones are passing the, the hand test. <laughs> can't really turn around some more so maybe I can get. <laughs> more? Yeah, just keep going around. Oh yeah, hear that suction. Yeah, we'll get there when we get there. Um, this one's not side to side. Yeah, I don't know, but either they're just it could be the what are the thrust or whatever it's called, thrust bearing. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm talking about. It's my first time fucking seeing this shit. All right. Looking yummy. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. Uh, got the engine out, and we actually did a little bit more than I planned on doing. So we got the pan off, saw some glitter in there, and uh, so the next step is to get the heads off. We're gonna split the block and actually see which bearing failed, and then figure out if I'm gonna either rebuild it, buy a short block, or just buy a whole nother JDM motor. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.